In this lesson, we're going to talk about mutations. So we talked about mutations in science 9, but what is it in terms of how it affects our proteins? So first of all, we talk about gene mutation, and that's what we talked about in grade 9 science. It's basically a random change in the nucleotide sequence of DNA. Okay, and because of that, what happens is it can alter translation. So it can alter our protein that is made. Because how that happens is that proteins depend on shape to function. You're going to learn more about this, for example, in Biology 11.12, when we talk about enzymes. Enzymes and substrates, enzymes work based on their shape. Now, you will actually remember these type of mutations in Science 9 as we have addition, deletion, and substitution. And we also learned that if the mutation is good, it makes a positive mutation because it helps the species survive. If the mutation doesn't help the species survive, it's called a negative mutation. And if the mutation doesn't affect the survivability of that species, then it's a neutral mutation. So gene mutation is that chromosomal mutation is basically a mutation that affects a large, larger part of a chromosome. So Gene mutation affects just a gene. Chromosomal affects a larger part of it. So this means it's a large segment of DNA. And in this case, you can see from these pictures, we have deletion, which means a whole segment of DNA gets deleted, not just a single gene. Translocation is where a segment of the chromosome is transferred to another. Duplication is where a DNA sequence is duplicated and attached somewhere. And inversion is where a segment of DNA uh, is inverted. But we're not going to talk about this as much. What we're going to talk about instead is more gene mutation. How that affects the protein we're going to make. So the first type we're going to talk about is called a frame shift mutation. What is a frame shift mutation? A frame shift mutation is basically caused by an addition or deletion. What this causes is that because of the addition or deletion, DNA to mRNA, we have what we call three bases, which we call a codon. And these three bases are read three at a time. But if you add one or delete one, you now change the three bases being read. So if you look at this diagram over here, you would see that, in, for example, right here, GAT in DNA forms CUA, which forms leucine. CGT forms GCA, which forms alanine, and so forth. But let's say, for example, you added a G here. Now, in this case, what happens here is this was GAT initially, and GAT is still here. The next three were CGT, but note how when you add a G, the next codon is now GCG. So CGT formed alanine, GCG formed arginine. That changes it. If you look at the next one, ACA formed cysteine, but in this case, it's now, AC is right here because now we have a T here, so that is now the new triplet. We get TAC, which forms methionine and so forth. So you see how frame shift mutation causes that issue. And this also happens when you delete. So it's sort of like, for example, when you read a passage, if you delete a word, it changes those words being read. So it also happens with deletion. So that is frame shift because in a sense you shifted the reading frame. But what's point mutation? Point mutation is where the gene basically happens 
due to substitution. In this case, what's going to happen is that it only affects one amino acid. That's why it only affects that point. While frame shift mutation affects everything after the mutation. So everything after where the G is added got changed. While point mutation only affects one amino acid. Because, for example, a hypothetical example, let's say, for example, um, let's look at this one again. So GAT, CGT, so GAT. So you have DNA, which is GAT. And you have CGT, okay? And let's say hypothetically, this again, this is the amino acids formed, is going to be leucine and alanine. But if you now substitute, uh, let's say the A becomes a T. So now that DNA is going to be GTT, CGT, so that should be a C. You notice that only, only the first mutation, where that mutation occurred, where that mutation occurred, only that DNA is trying to change, which means only that amino acid gets changed. So this is still going to be alanine, but now GTT, that is now going to be changed into, in this case, GTT from CAA, which is going to be, going to be glutamine, so GLN. So only that point got changed. So that is the big, big difference between point mutation and uh, frame shift mutation. So what are the effects of G mutation? Well, again, we know it is either a positive, which means it helps survivability. We have negative, or we have neutral. And ultimately, mutations can be good or bad. So because of that, we can't really say if that G mutation is going to be bad, 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 mutation or bad. No, we can't say that because ultimately it's basically how evolution work. So what causes mutations then? There are many things that cause a mutation. Um, it's basically caused by a mutagen. So it's anything that modifies our DNA. Uh, for example, this could be uh, mercury, right? UV rays x-rays, viruses, and so forth. We have a lot of different things that can alter our DNA. So, as always, make sure you keep yourself safe and healthy, and I'll see you soon.